Greetings amiable viewers and welcome to Golden Age Technology on Supreme Master Television. This week we explore Brain Computer Interface or BCI technology developed by Neurosky, a company based in California, USA, and learn about one of its popular applications. The company's new ThinkGear technology uses small biosensors that are fitted within the headset that are able to measure and process the user's brain waves or their brain's electrical activity into signals. The signals are then wirelessly transmitted to a device such as a computer or game console via Bluetooth, a wireless technology standard to control its operation. Neurosky has uh, essentially reinvented what used to be medical technology in the sense that we've taken biosensors that used to find only in a hospital reading brain waves or heart and, and things like that and created a chip solution. So in fact, uh, we are a semiconductor company that does all of this stuff that used to be in a big medical device on a chip. Um, and our goal is, is obviously to close the gap between what used to be strictly relegated to a hospital and be able to bring biosenses into everyday life. Neurosky has partnered with US toy maker Mattel to create a game called Mindflex which truly demonstrates that the concept of mind over matter is for real. Sensors read the player's brain activity, and depending on their level of focus, they are able to control gameplay. By moving between two states of concentration, focused and relaxed, the player guides a small ball through an obstacle course. In April 2010, both Neurosky and Mattel participated in Gadget Show Live, an international showcase of consumer electronics products held in Birmingham, UK. The event is based on the popular UK television series, The Gadget Show. To learn more about Mindflex, our Supreme Master Television correspondent spoke with representatives from both companies at the exhibition. Let's first hear from James Sullivan, Vice President of Worldwide Sales at Neurosky, about the ThinkGear technology used in Mindflex. What I have here is a single dry sensor. Okay, so instead of the medical array of maybe 16 or 32 or more sensors, I have a single sensor, there's no gel or conductive paste and I'm communicating Bluetooth to my PC and here on the PC you can see the my brain wave and then you can see the what we call the power bands the power spectrum which are all the different wavelengths that a brain wave is broken up into and uh, and then you can see some meters down here you have the attention meter and the the meditation meter this measures my calmness and this measures my relative attention. And so essentially I can manipulate these meters simply with my mind uh, for attention. For example, if I just focus on that needle, I can drive it up and down simply by focusing on it, paying attention to it. And meditation, I'm a pretty calm guy, so my meditation runs about this level. So all of this is basically driven by a chip, single chip the size of my pinky nail, in the headset communicating to a piece of software here. So when I talk about attention, I'm, I'm really talking about um, a single thought or idea, okay? The ability to rid my mind of other things and focus. And when I talk about meditation, I'm talking about calmness, um, almost serenity. Uh, it's the ability to, you know, sort of be at peace and, and not be agitated. So we have the ability in, in, with this chip to measure both of those and I have an, an embedded algorithm right on board the chip that then transmits the data to the PC. ThinkGear is being used to treat certain neurobehavioral development disorders. Leading universities throughout the world are also making use of Neurosky's affordable innovation in neurological research. use this to practice your attention and your meditative abilities? Without a doubt. It, uh, it's definitely a learned behavior. You get better at it as you do it, just like with the games and toys that are based on it. You can get better and better at them. And in fact, uh, when people are using this technology 
to build a, a, a therapy for ADHD, that's exactly what they're doing. They're, they're building a game that engages the player. It's fun to play, but it also reinforces attention during the game. And then they use my technology as a real-time feedback mechanism. So the player can not only engage with this game and pay more and more attention, but they uh, can get real-time feedback. So they go, ah, that's what it feels like to pay attention. And what other potential does it have within the health arena? Uh, a tremendous potential in extending what today is a very restrictive, expensive medical test to the physician's office and even to the patient's home. So you can have patients that uh, instead of traveling long distances every two weeks for a, a treatment can do something at home in, in their own living room for 20 minutes a day and, and reinforce that kind of treatment that way. So it becomes a complement to uh, the traditional medical treatments. Not meant to replace them, but to be an additional tool. We'll be right back after the following brief message. When we return, we will learn more about Mattel's popular new game, MindFlex. Please stay tuned to Supreme Master Television. Welcome back to Golden Age Technology, as we continue our show on a fascinating brain-computer interface device recently developed by Neurosky. Utilizing Neurosky's ThinkGear technology, toy manufacturer Mattel has created an exciting new product, MindFlex. MindFlex is a game designed for children ages 8 and above, but adults are also sure to enjoy the thrill and challenge of moving a small ball through an obstacle course. It is truly a game of flexing the mind, and it offers the benefit of helping players develop their attention and improve their mental concentration. MindFlex was one of the most popular new games of 2009 in the US, while in the UK it was one of the highlights of the 2010 Gadget Show live event. Let's now return to the exhibition where Mattel UK spokesperson Charlotte Bird provides an introduction to MindFlex. Tell us um, how the MindFlex works. Yes. Uh, as you can see, my colleague Vicky here is, is actually demonstrating. She's wearing a headset which has three sensors. So she has a sensor on her forehead here and two on her earlobes that are actually reading the brainwave activity that's going on as she focuses her concentration and then relaxes. Um, as she focuses, there's an increase in the brainwave activity which is actually transmitted to this unit here and that actually powers the fan which is underneath the unit and as she does that she's able to move the fan around the obstacle course and by focusing and then relaxing her concentration she can make the ball rise and fall to actually maneuver through the obstacles and she's doing very well in front of an audience here actually it's very difficult to do when people are watching so basically the game builds your concentration absolutely yes so with the power of your thought you can make make the ball rise and fall and then you have the physical movement of moving the fan at the same time so it is a, it is a game of concentration and what's been the reaction so far at the show we've been overwhelmed actually by the response everyone seems to love it from grown-ups to kids it seems to go down well it's a real challenge and it's one of those things that you have to see to believe really and give it a go yourself and what benefits does it have for children over conventional games the games are great for kids in so many different ways and it actually encourages concentration and, and that's a real skill that is very powerful to develop in children. It enables them to focus and then relax and to be able to manage your concentration is actually quite difficult. With visitors excited at trying their hand or mind at MindFlex throughout the event, there was a noticeable difference in results between age groups. What could be the key to success in effectively maintaining control of the ball? We've had all ages, but obviously this is a single one from eight years plus, so we have had children of nine and ten give it a go, right up to their mums and dads and, and granddads, because I think everyone just wants to 
try it for themselves to believe it. Something that we have noticed today is that younger kids are actually very good at it and I think that may be partly to do with the fact that as an adult you're thinking about so many different things and you may be a bit sceptical as to whether it's going to work and actually I think that does have an impact and children actually don't come with that baggage. So actually we have seen some kids who are being fantastic at it today. They have picked it up very quickly and they're able to manage the raising and falling of the ball very, very easily. Whereas personally I find it quite difficult to relax my thinking and, and make the ball fall. I can get it to, to go high but I can't actually relax my thinking so I'm not great at that. Different people have different methods. So Vicky for example to focus her concentration does maths in her mind so she'll do calculations and sums and that seems to work for her. Some people just think the word up and that seems to work for them. Others do a physical movement of up and that also seems to trigger something for them. It seems that we can derive much benefit from playing constructive games such as Mindflex, which can help develop greater levels of concentration and attention. There is no doubt that the number of constructive applications of this technology are limitless, and that in addition to entertaining us, it will better our lives in many ways in the years to come. Kudos Neurosky, Mattel and all other companies across the world that are promoting the advancement of brain-computer interface devices. And many thanks James Sullivan and Charlotte Bird for taking the time to speak with us about this amazing technology. For more details on Neurosky, please visit neurosky.com. To learn more about Mindflex, please visit www.mindflexgames.com. Kind viewers, thank you for joining us today on our program. Vegetarianism, the noble way of living, is up next after noteworthy news. May we all strive to elevate the consciousness of our planet. For more details, please visit www.suprememastertv.com forward slash G-A-T.